Good evening. A climate change conference held in Edmonton this week helped to start a conversation about the consequences of the changing weather. The three-day event had a variety of panelists speaking about climate change and what to prepare for in the near future. Our Evan Hugo Wanning joins us live from the South Lobby with more on that story. Thanks, guys. Climate change affects us more than we think. It affects our agriculture, our water, and our health, and most of all, our future. This week, Edmonton hosted a climate change conference here in the city. These targets are not easy, but they are achievable. A variety of speakers came from all around the world to speak on the panel about the numerous ways climate change is affecting the earth today and what precautions to take in the future. The event also consisted of showcasing innovative climate-related technology and how it will better in the future. As cities grow, officials here feel the need to cope with the uprising of pollution. Today is an opportunity to share some of these experiences. And as we know, as cities move from a population of concentration in urban centers of around 50% today to 70% in 2050, it's going to be quite a job. Not only do scientists and politicians talk about climate change here at the Shaw Conference Centre, students from around the world came to Queen Elizabeth High School to talk about it. These kids were tasked with three questions about global warming. The Edmonton mayor sat down with them and listened in. Later on, he gave the students a little history lesson on climate change. The very first uh, uh, major scientific report that went to Congress went there in 1979, the year I was born. And it said there is a clear consensus in the science that humans are causing climate change. I am 38 years old, and we are still debating what we need to do. The conference wrapped up on Wednesday with a call to other cities to step up against climate change. Even though climate change is a global problem, speakers at the conference believe that change can happen in cities such as Edmonton. One example is extending the LRT line in the city so less people have to drive to work. This will reduce carbon emissions. Evan, since Edmonton is a growing population, what will city councillors be planning for in uh, future communities? Well, the neighbourhoods in Edmonton are being planned so that malls, uh, schools and activity centres are within walking distance. So again, less people have to drive. Evan, what is Edmonton doing to reduce emissions from the ETS buses? They actually announced that with the new ETS buses that are making their way into the city, they will reduce emissions by 33 to 38%. Thanks, Evan. That's our Evan Hugawanig reporting live from the South Lobby.